Hey everybody. Sorry. Hey everybody, it's Essence Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where um, we talk about everything and anything here. Uh, today um, I'm doing a book haul. Yes, my hair is straight. I decided I was going to just wear it straight for a little bit. We'll see how long this lasts. Um, I'm not a person that likes to put a lot of heat on my hair. So um, hopefully I can get a couple of weeks out of it being straight and it stays good. But that's not what this video is. This is about my books that I just bought. I know I'm supposed to be on a book buying ban. I have zero willpower, same as my thrifting. I was supposed to not be thrifting for the rest of the year. I was not supposed to be buying any more books for the rest of the year because all of the books on this shelf have not been read. That's what I'm trying to work on, but I can't. I got I have zero willpower. I'm trying. I went to a couple of thrift stores. I also went to a um a, a book sale the other day. So we're going to go ahead and get started because because I do have a lot. First is Minion by LA Banks. I have heard a few things about this series. It's a black female author. It's a vampire series and I do want to try to get into it because I hear a lot of good things. It's a really long series, but I have heard a lot of good things about it. Next is Baltimore Blues by Laura Lipman. I'm not going to go into the description of these books because most of them I don't know, but they just sounded good when I read the back. This one I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know. This is called The Sting by Robert Reverka. Um, it just sounded kind of fun. It's an oldie. You could tell by the color of the pages. But yeah, we'll see. I'm starting to get into memoirs, which is interesting because I have read some in the past, but I always felt like it wasn't something that I was really interested in reading. But it turned out, it's it's turning out that I am. So I've been on the hunt for some memoirs. And this one is Brothers and Me by Donna Britt. I don't know why now that I think about this, I might have this already. I don't know. Next is Barry Gordy, The Music, The Magic, The Memories of Motown, To Be Loved. I got this because I just thought it was interesting. There was a lot of pictures in it that seemed interesting. And even the few pages that I kind of read or skimmed through, I was like, you know, it might be kind of fun. We have Open Book by Jessica Simpson. This is another one that I was kind of like, mm, but I skimmed over a few pages and I was like, hmm. And the inside cover is like letters. It looks, it appears. I thought maybe when I first opened it, somebody who owned it had wrote all in it, but it, that's not the case. So that's that one. This one, The Pershing by Natasha Dion. I do believe that I have this book, so I probably will not keep this one if I already have it. I just probably forgot to put it on, scan it into my library app. I found Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt. This is a book that has been getting a lot of buzz through booktube as well as in my reading groups. And it's kind of gotten mixed reviews, but I don't know. The, the synopsis sounded interesting in the way that some people have talked about it. It's been surprising to some people that they actually enjoyed it. So this book, I have no idea why I picked it up because I tried to read it slash listen to it before. And... Um, it was just too many, too much legal jargon or legal terms, and I was kind of getting lost. But Stacey Abrams, While Justice Sleeps. I Like I said, I did try to read this over the summer, and I took it back to the library because I was like, I, I can't follow. I was not able to follow it, but I figured maybe I'll try it again. We don't know. I, I don't know. Next, we have uh, Disgrace by J.M. Cortez. This sounds pretty interesting. The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor Laval. He has another book out that a lot of people have been talking about. He's supposed to be a pretty good author and it's a slim book. So this should be a pretty quick one. This book is one that has been getting a lot of talk in my reading groups. It's Christopher, Christopher Paul Curtis's The Waltons Go to Birmingham. I don't know why I feel like this was on maybe Reading Rainbow or something because this title is definitely one that is very familiar to me for whatever reason. Next, we have Black Girl Call Home by Jasmine Manns. This is another book that was um, recommended 
a few times in my reading groups on Facebook. We have The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dare or Dare Dari. This is another one that was getting a lot of buzz. This is another book. I know that I have it somewhere or I had it. And I know that I had the, a copy a couple of times. Along Came a Spider by Jamie Patterson. My goal or mission was to not keep books that kept, are easily found in every thrift store or any of that because I just didn't feel like it was necessary for me to have the actual book in my collection. But I saw this lady doing a book vlog a reading vlog on this book and I was like oh my god I think I need to read this I will more than likely probably not keep this I don't know what I was thinking but whatever y'all don't judge your mama Poe Man's Child by Marcy Blackman the cover is really what got me um but the synopsis of it does sound pretty interesting I kind of interested to read it this is another book I had at one time and donated it and it's been recently been talked about a few times in my reading group it is Ian McEwen's on Chesil Beach we have Sensation by Jacqueline Thomas I have quite a few of her books and I've read maybe about two of her books they're really good she's a Christian fiction author and her books they have a really good pace to them so it's it's a quick it should be a pretty quick read hopefully we'll see this is a book that I've been on the hunt for in the thrift stores because everybody, a lot of people talk about it in my reading groups, but it is My Sister the Serial Killer by Onyankan Braithwaite. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that incorrectly and I do apologize for that, but I want to get into this. Go Down Moses by William Faulkner. I'm not really sure that I'm actually interested in this after I read the synopsis again, but we'll see. Inside the Music and the Masks by Ronan Rowe. It's about Prince. Um, this isn't like an official autobiography or memoir. So this is more so about, um, you know, someone else's. I think I don't know if Prince actually talked to him about it. But I, I have seen this come up a few times and people said that it was pretty good. Next is Killers of the Flowers Moon. This is by uh, David Graham. It's grand. It's currently in the theaters. And I'm not quite sure why I got this because a co-worker of mine went to see the movie. She said it's good. It's like three hours long, but it's a lot of dialogue. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't do well when it's a lot of dialogue. I start to get really bored, but we'll see. Um, oh, sorry, I had to rearrange. Got Something Wild by Hannah Halpern. I Got Your Back by Demetrius Jones Jr. I kind of really like this cover. It's sort of telling you what it's almost going to be about. This is a book that is another one that has been on my radar for a few years because a lot of people have talked about it, but it's The Last Mrs. Parrish by Liv Constantine. It's a large print version of the book which I don't really care about I really was excited when I saw this I was like oh my god finally I was able to find this and last is Jesus Land by Julia Shears now uh I kept saying I was like this cover looks so familiar it looks so familiar and I wasn't sure if it was one that I actually owned or maybe I looked at it before and was like mm -mm -mm, and put it back so as I started to get this was I was setting up I was like god this I don't know I really think I have this book I looked down on my case on my bookcase I just happened to look at something else and what do I see so I must not have scanned when I bought this book I must not have scanned it onto my library app so that that's what I use when I go to buy a book and I'm not sure if I have it already, I look on the library app or even the, or my other app that I'm starting to use more book Mori to see if I have it because I was doing that a lot where I was buying doubles and triplicates of the same book, not realizing that I already have it. So I'm not keeping both because there's no reason. I probably will keep this one because the hardcover has a bunch of stickers on 
she, the hardcover has a bunch of stickers on it maybe i don't know but that's it that's all i want to thank you all for clicking on the video and watching it let me know in the comment section below have you read any of these books what did you think um yeah what do you think of even my hair <laughs> but uh thank you all again for commenting or watching my video subscribing to the channel please continue to come back for more and more and i'll see y'all in the next one bye